हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand noise in communication system. First, let us define noise in communication system. Noise is a disturbance or unwanted frequency signals that appears within the required frequency signal. So, noise is the disturbance or unwanted frequency signal that appears within the required frequency signal. so unwanted frequencies that are present in the required frequency signal we can call that as noise so basically noise is a disturbance so this figure shows the classification of noise so we can classify noise broadly into two types external noise as well as internal noise the external noise can be classified as man made noise or natural noise the man made noise can be industrial noise the natural noise can be classified as atmospheric noise or extraterrestrial noise here again the extraterrestrial noise can be classified as solar noise or cosmic noise coming to the internal noise it can be classified into three groups short noise thermal noise and white noise so as per your syllabus you need to understand what is short noise thermal noise as well as white noise the short noise appears in active devices due to random behavior of charges so short noise appears in active devices this is due to the random behavior of charges if we say charges it might be electrons or A hole inside a semiconductor so short noise will appear in active devices due to random behavior of charges thermal noise is generated due to random movement of thermally induced electrons so thermal noise is generated due to random movement of thermally induced electrons the noise which has constant power spectral density is known as white noise the white noise is also known as gaussian disturbance so the noise which has constant power spectral density over wide range of frequencies is known as white noise it is also known as gaussian disturbance now let us understand short noise in detail as i have told you the short noise appears in active devices due to random behavior of charge carriers so short noise appears in active devices due to random behavior of charge carriers if we say charge carriers it might be electrons or holes for example in vacuum tubes the short noise is generated due to random emission of electrons from the cathode plates in semiconductor devices short noise is generated due to random diffusion of minority charge carriers in photo detectors or leds short noise is due to random emission of photons so for example in vacuum tube the short noise is generated due to the random emission of electrons from cathode tubes in case of semiconductor devices the short noise is generated due to the random diffusion of minority charge carriers in photo detectors or leds short noise is due to random emission of photons let us consider figure 1 which shows vacuum diode and let us take current i as the actual dc current and current isn of t is the short noise current so the total current that is flowing through the vacuum diode will be i plus isn of t therefore we can write the total current i of t will be equal to i which is the actual dc current 
plus i s n of t which is the short noise due to random behavior of the charge carriers the mean square value of short noise can be given as e of i s n square will be equal to 2 q i b n where q is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs and b n is the noise equivalent bandwidth and i is the required dc current so this equation for mean square value of short noise is for the vacuum diode if we consider pn junction diode the mean square value of short noise can be given as e of isn square is equal to 2q into i plus is into bn here is is nothing but the reverse leakage current this is about short noise now let us understand about thermal noise thermal noise is induced due to random movement of thermally induced electrons so we can say thermal noise is due to random movement of thermally induced electrons this thermally induced electrons will produce a random current this current is known as thermal noise or it is also known as johnson noise here figure a shows the noise model using resistor and its equivalent thevenin's circuit is shown in figure 2 here itn is the thermal noise current vtn is the thermal noise voltage here you need to remember that the mean value of thermal current will always be equal to 0 and mean square value of thermal voltage can be given as e of vtn square that will be equal to 4 kbn tr here k is the boltzmann constant t is the temperature at which the resistor is operating r is the resistor value in terms of ohms and bn is the noise equivalent bandwidth the maximum noise power produced across the resistor in figure 2 can be given as pn is equal to the mean square value of thermal voltage divided by 4r so we can write this as 4 kbn tr divided by 4r therefore the maximum power produced will be equal to kt bn in terms of watts this is about thermal noise next we will understand white noise white noise will have flat power spectral density over a wide range of frequencies it is also known as gaussian disturbance it is denoted as w of t the white noise has all frequency component in equal amount the power spectral density of white noise is given as s w of f is equal to n not by 2 here n not is k t e where t e is noise equivalent temperature so this is the power spectral density of white noise as you can see the power spectral density is flat or constant for wide range of frequencies as shown in this figure this is about white noise this is about the introduction to noise in communication system short noise thermal noise and white noise hope you have understood the topic
थैंक यू